Are you looking to change music distributors? Don't want to lose your Spotify stats and stream numbers? If that sounds like you, then keep watching, because today I'm going to show you how to switch music distributors easily without losing all of your stats on streaming services. So let's blast off and get started. JM in your universe. Konnichiwa friends, I'm Jonathan Miller and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music where we help each other become better artists. All right, so sometimes things get expensive or you just wanna try different services and so you wanna change music distributors, which you absolutely can do without losing sales numbers and stream data, but it is a bit of a process, so I'm gonna walk you through how to do it. It doesn't matter which service you're switching to or from, the process is going to be roughly the same. I'm gonna be transferring over from TuneCore to DistroKid for this video, and this video is sponsored by DistroKid, so I've got a special VIP link that will save you some money on your first year's membership with them. DistroKid's kinda cool because you can release as much music as you want for just one yearly fee, so if that meets your budget a little bit better, it's genuinely a good service to try. So some things that you're gonna need before we get started, you're gonna need your original ISI RC, your original album artwork, original uploaded song file, your original release date, and any other original metadata from the original release. I cannot stress this enough, everything has got to be exactly the same. Otherwise, it could mess up your transfer as you move your music from one service to another. But don't be too scared, I know it's a little intimidating. I know I was scared the first time I did it, but don't be, it's gonna be okay. My screen might look a little bit different from yours, because distribution platforms are always moving things around, as you know. But if you follow along, everything should go over smoothly. For this video, I'm gonna be transferring over my single, You'll Find Love, which was a cool little tropical house song I released in 2019. But you absolutely can do this with your larger releases too, like albums or EPs. The process is just a little bit longer and you have to do this with every single song. And again, everything's gotta be the same. All right, I've got both of my accounts for TuneCore and DistroKid up. And first, I'm gonna pull up the single information on TuneCore, because that has all the data that I'm gonna need. You can see that my song is marked as live in stores right now, which you can see, yep, there it is in Spotify. So now we're gonna open another tab and go over to DistroKid and mark all the same stores that You'll Find Love is already currently on. We'll select one song since it's just a single. For previously released, hit yes, and then put in that original release date. Mine is July 5th, 2019, so that's what I'll put. Artist and band name needs to be exactly the same as well. Make sure you've selected the right Apple Music and Spotify profiles because obviously you want this to be attached to the right account. Hit no for pre-order, because this is just a transfer release and not really anything new. Hitting yes could mess up the whole process and cause some confusion, so be careful. Record label also needs to be the same exactly as it was. Your album artwork should be the original file as well, so hopefully you've got that. If not, you'll probably be okay, but again, it would be good to keep everything the same. Keep your language the same. Mine was in English, so that's what I'm gonna put. For genre, make sure it's the same information as well. Do note though that if you choose a electronic music, DistroKid's gonna ask you for some further clarification because electronic music has now split into a lot of different categories on streaming services. So if your umbrella genre is electronic, choose the subgenre that is the closest to what you would have marked originally. This shouldn't be too much of an issue, but if for some reason there is, you can always reach out to DistroKid's customer support for additional help and some further clarification if you need it. Next, add your track title and any featured artists if you've got them. Again, same, same, same. Upload that original file for your song, and this is important. It has to be the original file because if you upload a different one, Spotify or Apple Music or some streaming service out there is going to probably register it as a brand new song because it doesn't match what they have on file and therefore your data won't transfer correctly and you'll lose your numbers. I personally keep all of my music files in every release subfolder that I have for situations exactly like this because it makes them easier to find and I would highly advise you to do something similar. So select the file and add your original ISRC2 below that. We're just gonna copy and paste that straight from TuneCore into DistroKid. Add if you've got spatial audio or not and add the songwriters. Check if it's got explicit lyrics or not and whether or not this this is a radio edit. If your song is instrumental, you'll need to let them know here and select the preview clip. I would personally say keep this preview clip, whatever the original was, to limit your potential headache. So whether that was auto-generated or you specified it, replicate that here and keep your track price the same as well. Now from here, DistroKid offers some extras regarding your release that do cost a little bit of money, but they're completely optional and up to you. Also note though, that if your song is already a part of YouTube's content ID system, you cannot be in there twice. 
So don't add it again if you're already a part of it on another distribution service. From here, click the mandatory checkboxes at the bottom and then hit done. Then your artwork and music will begin uploading to DistroKid. Now your song is off to source. Great, that's awesome. While DistroKid is really quick at delivering music, you still need to give all stores at least a week to receive and transfer over your release. The reason being is literally processing time. You really wanna make sure things match up. So during this week or two, you'll likely see two of the same releases in stores at the same time. That's good. That's usually what you want. The first time I did this and I saw that, I got super nervous like I had done something wrong, but that's okay. It takes time to transfer things over and get your data associated with the right music. Let both of those releases be up for a while. Like I said, for at least a week, maybe a little bit longer to ensure that all your data has transferred over correctly, which you can do by checking the play stats of your track. If after a while, everything looks like it's transferred over correctly and you're seeing the right play counts, then you're probably probably good to issue a takedown at your previous distributor. And once that's done, you should be good to go. Now, another thing to be aware of is in case you are part of TuneCore's publishing administration, leave your song associated with that. It's perfectly fine to have your song registered with them. If your transfer was done correctly, your publishing royalties will still get to you in the exact same way. So don't sweat that too much. Also, if you've noticed after about two weeks or so that the data has not synced up correctly, go back and review your release and make sure you've inputted everything properly. You may need to take it down and start the process again. Stream number loss, of course, can happen, but if you've done your best to keep everything the same, then you should be all good and have nothing to worry about. Don't forget to use my VIP link to save 7% on your first year's membership with DistroKid. There's a link in the description below to do so. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and share it with a friend. I really appreciate it. Comment below if you have any questions. Best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.